I got some questions I want to ask. I want to know what was it like, because I guess you were a little girl living through the breakup of the Soviet Union. What do you remember? Um, I don't know. This, I was like, I was a little girl. I was nine when that was all. So basically that was happening all my like childhood that was happening, that was in progress, work in progress. That was still Soviet Union, but that was like going to close the business so like during my early age and uh, that was I remember there was like literal hunger like really hunger I, I remember myself standing in the lines to get the bread so I was I don't know so like I assume I was like four or five I didn't know what was that so in the morning my grandma would take me she would put me to the line to get the bread because that was warmer line that was closer to the uh, like and that was winter that was closer to the building and building is warm and like warm bread is inside so as she would put me in the line to get the bread and I would be like early in the morning about about 6 a.m. so I would be like 10th in that line and she would put me between the people and she would take a line to get the milk and we were getting milk so milk was always sold from the it's like big tanks outside it's like it's a truck on the truck it's like big tank with the milk and you just like open the you know like and just pour the milk out of that that was like not uh we didn't have tetra packs that moment obviously we did not like we've never seen them that moment so like and she would take that line because that line line is colder so and she would get the milk then she would run take me with the bread and you could take only as i remember like some kind of amount of bread per family so we i guess we could take I think one like square uh, rye bread and two white uh, buns you could take per family. If family getting into the line, like all family getting into the line, so you can like in one hand you can get more bread if you need to, but you need like all family need to be in the line, you know, like and no one would like would know that you're the same family because someone would spot you and they will kick you out because there was a hunger, there was no bread, there was no milk, there was nothing. You coming to the store and like on the vitrines, just the paper, paper, no food, just the paper, and like couple uh, cans with. It's like laminaria, what you call it. It's like, um, it's seaweed. It's like canned seaweed. That's it. I swear. Now, is this <laughs> um, like rationing or is, um, are you purchasing or is it a handout? No, it's like it's handout. It's like it's uh, just, uh, just a store. It's a store, a general store. You're going and there is nothing. There is no food, no meat, no milk, no like nothing. Just like just this. That was not always. There was like a couple of years like this when like and also there was like there was people had no money and uh, e economy was so poor. So they sometimes they could not pay people with the money. So they would pay you with, for example, my father, he was working at the it's there was like it's a factory not a factory they were actually making microchips that moment in that factory there was like something they were working for the government and part of that factory was also heating the city because we have central heat uh, network uh, in the city so you have that like so they were receiving a uh, salary in soap soap he would bring home soap they would not give them money he would bring home soap and that was, I'm not saying that I was living like up north, like in Siberia. No, I was like, it's Moscow region. It's like, you know, you know, it's just outside of the Moscow. So, and he would bring home soap and then he would, but like, uh, I mean, people. So he would trade soap for other things? He would things? trade, so someone would get, get grapefruits for it, you know, like yeah, instead well, of that or rough. something. So you just trade and that's why like every one of uh, households had like little piece of land where in summertime you can grow vegetables and like you just preserve that you're doing that famous you know like cabbage you know and a lot of cabbage and like everything is cabbage it's, it's truth because I mean, it's, it's everything cheap. it's cheap and it's like it has vitamin c and you need sure to survive through that winter you know like so it's potatoes and cabbage it's cheap and it's filling and like it has some kind of vitamins in it so that was like childhood that was like i don't know like hungry and happy and this is weird. Right now I like remember it, and it's like it's kind of weird and scary. But that was like that was not as bad probably as it sounds. But that is, um, yeah, that was pretty scary. And like it's dark and gray. And uh, when there was no money, so they would also I remember they would go, uh, they it's like coupons. So people were receiving coupons per per family. It's like here EBT cards. 
but EBT card you can pay for something. There you're just receiving coupons and those coupon for like tobacco products, mm. certain amount per family, coupon for sugar, certain amount per family, coupon for like sunlight for the matches because like everything is, so we don't have, uh, we didn't have like electrical stoves that right. was just like gas. So like matches, you need to like, you, you need to oh, do see. that, yeah. So, and, uh, and if you, like, if your family is not smoking, you can go to other family and exchange, like, those tobacco products to, like, sugar or something or the flour like, that you can, like, just then go to store. And, of course, there was always, like, you know, you need to have connections and people who know people. And, you know, like, yeah. somewhere underneath you can, like, you can make a deal and, like, buy something. And they're, like, so they're bringing something to the store. And you need to know the day and time and the person through who you can buy, like, that kind of things. So always like to when like birthday coming or like New Year's something, you know, like you always have ways to like some kind of figure out to bring something. Just need to be very smart, quick, like fast reactive and just like be in good relationship with people around. Just like, wow. You know, yeah, it's like it's interesting skills. <laughs> it is interesting. And, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, preppers will stock up things that are that have like a high commodity value you know where other people really want it you know uh, that mm -hmm. will be very tradable mm -hmm. and you know it could be the sis same system that you know we end up in someday but you almost look at it and say okay well what's a what's a, a very tradable soap that would be a tough one you know because it's not an absolute need where potatoes okay we got so s sustenance going on you know munitions alcohol okay highly you know, because that could be, you know, um, alcohol can be used in medicine can, and, and who doesn't. But you, you, you forget that you cannot sell anything. It's communism. You cannot own your own business. So, for example, you cannot just sell alcohol. You'll go to jail. You know, like right. you, you can't. You uh, like uh, the. So um, I remember also there was like, so you could buy the candies, right? Like, like uh, my father, I guess he received his seller <laughs> with candies one time. I don't know what they were like. We had a lot of candies, like same. And that was like, this was like clear candy. Like just like, you like, um, like, like, like how you call it? Like sugar candy, glass candy. It's like, just like clear candies. And they are mints, like mints, the hard candies, mints. So, and they would do like a uh, homemade eau de vie, how you call it. It's like not vodka, but it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's like strong alcohol <laughs> because you need sugar. Moonshine. Yeah. You need sugar. No, not moonshine. It's like, uh, it's pathetic. So basically, <laughs> so it's like they, uh, very, you need sugar to make alcohol, right. but sugar is expensive and you won't spend that sugar to do alcohol. You would make some kind of, I don't know, like preserved berries or something. So, and those like candies, my father would turn into beautiful homemade, like some kind of drink, you know, yeah. like, and they would make it, but no one should know. I remember like, and he would make it, it's a big bottle, huge bottle and like the plastic globe on top of that, because it's like, it's, um, I don't know the process. The how it makes, yeah. It's like for the air and it needs okay. to get, and the plastic globe would just okay. like blow up. And like nighttime, you're just walking through that, and that glow like standing in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was terrified by that thing. And father said, never come close. And I was like, I would never, not the never glow. tell anyone about that glow. I'm like, no, I would never. <laughs> but I should not tell about anyone about that glow because it's just like you know, he could be taken to the you know the jail gulag. for that. That's yeah, it creates a very scared society where everyone's like looking out for everyone else, and they're everyone's like oh fear for what other people are thinking about them. They have to almost kind of very fit in. But you also need to watch your mouth, what you're you telling your kids because your kids will go to kindergarten tell and people, tell yeah. something. Yeah. I was yeah. I was the one who was like saying Gorbachev and like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my mouth. god so he and my father needed to be good friends with the principal of that you know <laughs> mm. <laughs> and bring her like different kinds it's of kind of funny the trading barter system kind of goes back to like before we really had like widespread currency this is what just humans have always been doing it's like oh i have this cool thing i'll give you this cool thing 